But the problem of the people of Nigeria in terms of the election is that this very election is not election. It is called bidding. Who will bid the highest? Because the, 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 the winning of the election is not just voting, but buying. Whoever have the highest pay will buy. And not whoever have the highest voting. I don't know if somebody is hearing me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Not that we will not try to go and say you want to vote. You will try to say you want to vote. Especially the people that say, oh, we are people from this. Oh, it is our turn. Oh, blah, blah, blah. We are the one to this, let these people rule for now. They have not ruled all the day of their life. They have not become president for many years. Can they pay Nigeria election and whatever is for sale? Hello? Hello? Not talking this thing for saying, I'm already seen there and the person that will, that will buy it and become the president is already there. And it's not caring about what you vote or what you don't vote. It's about buying. Who will buy? So, you people are going to pray that God should please help you, the Nigerian citizens. Because somebody like Major Prophet, I give up. But I continue to pray that that salvation of the Lord that God will bring to salvage the country is going to happen very soon. God will salvage the country in his own way in the name of Jesus. But to be frank with you, the voting is not by who you voted. In the realm of the spirit, I am seeing who buy and who pay. Who buy and who pay. So if I should ask people a question now, who do you think will win the election? Amen? Who do you think will win the election? Eh? Eh? That person you are thinking will not even come third. He will not come second. I'm a prophet. I don't want to say something. Somebody will begin to pick a face. But the truth be said. The people, the person you people, oh, yeah, he's our person. He's our, we, are, we are the one who we want to this day. They will not come second. Though. They will put the person in, in third position. Because in money, no rich to buy him. You see the problem? You see the problem? It's not hard for me to mention it, but I'm using wisdom and I know you are hearing me. Are you following me? You are understanding what I'm saying? That person you people are clamoring and shouting, no, oh, it's not second. They are putting him third. Or even the fourth person. <laughs> because if they put him second, they will now say, oh, let me fight for my right. So they will take him far where he will not be able to fight for his right. Amen. I said amen. Because we all are praying for better tomorrow. We want tomorrow to be better. We want our children to have a good face. And that is why we are fighting here and there. We will do what we will do. But the issue is ending with buying. Who have the highest... The highest bidder has it. All the person you people are, even pastors, bishops, say, oh, let us go, let us go, will be, he will not come first, he will not come second, he's in the third position. Amen? Major prophet is not here to mention him, but whoever knows, he knows. Eh? Eh? Because Nigeria is for sale. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But the reason why we must continue to pray is for the will of God to be done. Because everything they do today, tomorrow we ask for it. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? This year the youth should get ready for their protests. Because what will make them to protest is coming. And it is called provocation from the highest level. 
What you're not going to see? Oh, Koro Koro, the day you come out to hell. I want to, this one is my own. Today we must, you will be in your eyes there. The whole thing will be done. And you that come out to this thing, you'll end up quarrel and go back to your house. So two people are the people that want to throw the weight of money on who will buy the election. And these are the two giants there. The person that will win is not the person that has the button of the moving vehicle. But the person that will win is the person that is in another vehicle that has broke down. <laughs> Amen? You must use proverb to follow major prophet. Are you following me? Huh? <laughs> That's what is called a moving vehicle where everybody load, then they move. Now, them day for road, they go. Eh? Another one has broken down and they're finding a way to enter road. So, the beating now start. Now, I want to collect the power, come down here. No, the power is still there. Amen. I have promised in the spirit that I'm not going to mention name. But I will give you the message the way it will be very clear so that you will understand what is coming to happen. Is it not clear? Shall I mention him? Uh, because <laughs> I know why I am taking the prophetic the way the Holy Spirit is taking me. So the, the payment and the bidding is not cobble. Is this one true? I would have loved what you people want to be so, but no. The muscle is what is called the muslin. It's what is called what's called what's called rough handle. What is called what's called the bidding power. Who will bid and pass each other? That's what is going on there. And I can tell you the figure and everything they will write on everybody there. I can tell you as I'm standing here, the Holy Spirit has already written it the realm of the spirit. Because I'm seeing where they will be writing, writing millions there, millions. And then you'll be seeing, you'll be seeing the gap of, look at what you'll be seeing. You'll be seeing the gap of where, where, where you can see like as if somebody is going to 50 million and one person is in the 13 and the other person is in the, in the half middle. And then, how do you want to struggle with all those things? Because it is what is called irregularity. What is called the rough handle. Cash out will be there. So may God help us. We continue to pray. We continue to trust God. We continue to believe God. They will never steal from you again. Sister, stand up. People stealing from you spiritually will never steal from you again. Amen. I see a rat. And I see the rat enter into your house. And I see the rat carry something in the mouth. As he carry it in the mouth, about to get to the door, the Holy Spirit electrocuted the rat, and the rat died. Thank you, Jesus. That's what will happen in your house. Amen. Not just happening, it means that those people that spiritually enter your house yes. to steal from you, they will never enter again. Amen. If they enter, they will not go. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, take your blessing. Take, 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 take what belongs to you. Take it. Take it. No man will take what belongs to you again. Whatever they said against you is cancelled. Whatever they propose against you is cancelled. Anywhere they propose, the Lord scatter their proposal. The Lord scatter their proposal. Heaven scatter their proposal. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I am seeing a woman that the Lord said, this woman is going to be called Teresa. Who is Teresa here? I'm seeing a woman. This woman is like, they call her Mother Teresa. And when I look at her, Mother Teresa, I see her house filled up with blessings. With blessings. With blessings. With blessings. With blessings. With blessings. Overflow. 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 You did not cross over to remain the same. 
you cross over to change. You cross over to next level. You cross over to prosperity. You cross over to good health. You cross over from millionaire to billionaire. You cross over from nobody to somebody. You cross over from borrower to lender. You cross over from small health to bigger health. You will have a good health in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have been seeking and seeking and never find, you cross over to find. You have crossed over, you will find. Anybody looking for job, receive your job. Anybody looking for promotion, receive promotion. Any level you are expecting, receive that level. Whatever is supposed to be approved for you, receive the approval. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy in your life. It is your time. It is your time. Let the Lord announce you. Let the Lord announce you. In Jesus name. Hello sir. Can I talk to you? Do you permit me to talk to you? Yes, eh? sir. Yes, sir. This is your first time? Yes, sir. I am seeing you doing something with a politician. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it is all about. And this politician that I'm seeing you doing something with, it will be like play, like play. It will be like joke, like joke. The politician will pick you and carry you far in life. Amen. Do you believe in miracle? Yes, sir. Have you ever experienced miracle before? Yes, sir. Eh? Are you sure? Eh? No, really. You're, you always experience miracle. This one has said will it come to pass. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And uh, as I begin to look at you, I was looking at it. I said, ah. What's this politician going to do with him? And like before I knew it, it was like, like, like something like in a church. In a church. In a church. I don't know. Do you work in a church? Are you close to any church? Is there any church where you worship? Yes. You worship in any church? Yes. Where's the church where you worship? I worship with deeper life. With deeper life. Yeah. Because what they are about to bring that will favor you will be like a play. And God wants to use this to place you where you have not gotten to before. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the time to answer your prayer is now. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do you have a handwork? Do you have anything you do? Like a contract or handwork or whatever that you do? That's anything you do, maybe supply or contract or business or whatever. No. You don't do anything. No. So what do you do now? What I do, I work with a marketing company. You work with a marketing company? Yeah. Okay. When this man that God is bringing on your way comes, what will you want him to do for you? What will you want the person to do for Connect you? Connect me to the better client. Eh? Connect me to the clients that will change my... That will sell you through? Yes. In the area of your pursuit? Yes. Raise only your right hand up. The difference between preaching the gospel and prophesying is that when you preach, you are just teaching people how to trust God and have faith in God. But when you prophesy, you are bringing the word of God of now in the life of those people. This message I'm giving to you will be as if, how do I, how can this be possible? I was ministering to somebody and I told the person, I said, God is about to take you to house of assembly. God will put somebody in government and the person will help you to get your pension that had been stopped for almost 11, 12 years ago. And the woman laughed and said, how can this be possible? I said, somebody, God will put somebody in government that will speak for you. He thought it was a joke. Somebody selling oil in the Yanaba here. And uh, when I said that, the miracle happened. Obasa, Obasa won the election. From winning the election. Because before he won the election, the woman was saying, let's pray for him. And he came here and I prayed. I said, God, tell him you win. And when he went and tell him, say, my pastor say you win. Don't worry. You have won already. 
And that year when he won, the woman said, ah, I need the help. I said, what help? He said, they have not paid me my, my pension for many years now. He said, eh, go and meet a lawyer. Let him draft something. I will invite you. This woman from Lagos here, flight ticket was paid for her. A woman selling oil in Yanoba. They paid flight ticket. He went to Abuja and went to National Assembly. And they summoned the DG, Director General for Pension, that somebody is here. Come and defend why you did not pay the person. We're going to call for Jesus now. When the DG heard about it, that House of Assembly invited him. For who? Just this common woman. And the director general said, ah, but we can stop this thing outside the, this very big uh, gathering. Ah, ah, blah, blah, blah. They, they questioned him. After questioning him, he went back and cleared the woman's money. He said, he said was a, post, a pastor here. Why I'm telling you when a prophet is speaking, you know there is power in the word of prophecy. As God speaks, so shall it be. Connection is coming to you from a politician and they are going to use it to change your story. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congra Where's your wife? Because issue of marriage also is troubling you. And uh, you have tried, it did not work. You try again, it did not work. You have tried to build up and it's not working. You are having this issue. Eh? Eh? Yes. It will solve. Amen. I say it will solve. Amen. Because one connection will bring everything to pass. Amen. People are always seeing your fault. And I begin to ask them, why are they seeing his fault? Somebody come close to you now. When I take a step like this. Pastor, take a step now. One, two. He will see your fault immediately. Begin to find fault. Find fault. And when the person find fault, you will be begging as if you are begging heaven and earth. If you beg, beg, where you say, well, I can't keep myself. That's what is happening to you. Eh? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. That's what is happening to you. But God will solve that problem. Amen. Tonight is a night of favor. The word of God is new every day. And when God decides to change your story, he will change it. Amen. And he will change it once and for all. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.